Vandaag een bijzondere dag, een bijzondere première, omdat we een nieuwe WOMOR gaan lanceren voor het eerst in de consumentenproeverij. En jullie krijgen echt de voorpremiere, want hij is pas vanaf juli in de winkel. So my name is Alistair Dickinson, uh, as, as the guys had said, but um, please feel free to call me Ali, and uh, most people do. Uh, and I work for Morrison Bowmore Distillers. Our personal experiences and our day-to-day -day adventures change what we taste every single day. But I think there's one thing that definitely comes from this, is sea salt. So let's have a little nose of Bowmore you make. <laughs> Very sweet. That has a maritime effect. It's quite a warming new make spirit. Um, I always feel it's beneficial to nose spirit especially. When you keep your mouth open and you smell a couple of times, and then you go back to closing your mouth, it's almost like someone shut the curtains. It's almost like you're muting the spirit a little bit. Normally I, I, I like to go around the room and talk to everyone. But I see we have some safety devices <laughs> here this evening. Just to keep you in the front. Yeah, I'm actually going to say, I'm going to take some pictures of these. I think we may patent them for some Glasgow pubs. <laughs> uh, I think it would be a really good indication of when to ask someone to go home. <laughs> when you start to see them swinging a little bit from left to right. <laughs> so first fill and second fill bourbon cast. It is a very lovely, creamy, still sea salty, sweet, lemons, a little bit of lime in there as well, it's, it's got a lovely freshness to it. So let's pick up the whiskey guys, let's go for the, the Bomo small batch. <laughs> Straight away, I get that citrus on the nose. It really is very citrusy mm. on the nose. I know citrus, there's, there's many many types of citrus, so let's let's wire it down a little bit. It's definitely a lemony citrus one. Um, again, let's use a reference point. And go back to the new me. Go back and forward. Yeah, straight away you're seeing the difference of the first fill and second fill in here. So the first fill is going to give you all those creamy, that lovely mouth feel that you get from it. Slight oiliness coming from it. And then you're going to get that slight dry woody nature coming on second fill. And Rachel's job, Rachel's prerogative is to use first and second fill to her advantage. So we've chosen to use both of these from the whiskey, for the whiskey to give it two slightly different sides to the coin. Hmm. I love the mouthfeel on this. The minute you get it, it's really creamy. Really creamy at the start. And then you get a little bit of that second fill dryness, that wood spice coming through at the back of the throat. It almost sits in the middle of your tongue. If you imagine just in the middle of your tongue, you get a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of pepper, just holding up there. Then you get that fruitiness coming through as well. It's bottled at 40%. It's, you know, it's the lowest bottling strength we can go. And it's designed to be a really nice, easy, Sipping, creamy, Bowmore whiskey. But for me, Bowmore small batch would be a whiskey that I do like today. It's cracking, it's sunny, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a very nice day. You take yourself out in the backyard, pull up a chair. It really is fantastic. Bowmore small batch and oyster. Because you get that salty sweetness coming through, and then you get the oyster. And I, I, I'm not a big oyster fan, so I have to, I, I douse it quite a lot in whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then have a big slump back. Cheers to that. And thank you very much for having me tonight, guys. Enjoy Bowmore. Yeah. Thank you.